Tell me if this is too loud or not. Sounds like we're about to fucking smash out a footy show. <laughs> Absolutely. Welcome back to Saturday Triple M Football with Dan Ganine. We did this last <laughs> week, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and the bloody brilliant days, boys. We've got a cracking game tonight between the Dolphins football team and the Brisbane Broncos at Suncorp Stadium. The atmosphere is electric. <laughs> what do we got here? Sorry, uh, This is our band of the week. This is Chimney by the Southern River Band. Fucking hot. I really like the instrumentals of that. Yeah, that's uh, unbelievable. Uh, welcome back to the Bloody Brilliant Beers podcast. Uh, we are the Bloody Brilliant Beers. We started off reviewing craft beers on Facebook, and now we bring you the conversations you'd more than likely hear from the front, front bar at your local, and we're coming to you live from our local. Which is the Caxton Hotel, situated on Petrie Terrace in Brisbane. Brisbane. Postcode 4000. You sure about that? Yeah, Brisbane's postcode 4000. With Petrie Terrace in... Oh, it's Brisbane. Yeah, it's close enough. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Just Google it. Yeah. Uh, Before we go any further, Josh, one thing we must do. Yeah, we must get some blokes down our throat. It's my favourite thing about coming to the Caxton. It is. My favourite thing about coming. <laughs> what? Cheers. Getting, cheers, mate. Getting blokes Do you down enjoy my coming while getting blokes down your throat? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. How yeah, good. So, uh, for us, happy Monday. For you guys, happy Wednesday. It's no, a great time up. to get a bloke down your throat. The midweek hump. It's always a great time. But it is always a good time. So, How was uh, your weekend, mate? Mate, not too bad. Had the Miso Soup's birthday on Saturday. Yep. Kicked it off with a fucking spectacular dinner at Gambaro's on Friday night. Beautiful. It was so good. I've never been um, there. Mate, it was unreal. Both big seafood lovers. They've just renovated their, um, like restaurant. their restaurant there. Fuck yeah. So I've never actually been to Gambaro's before. Uh, lovely setup. Just fucking awesome. We had James. He was serving us. He was a legend. It was pretty funny at the end. I gave him a tip. Oh, um, it was lovely, and I was like, "Oh, like keep the change. That's for you." And he's like, "Oh, the team or or, or me?" And I was like, <laughs> "Just you, bro." I was like, "You're fucking sick." Like we had such a good time. This is awesome, and um, he was just like, he got like started blushing a bit. He's like, "Oh, oh, thank you." And then he's like, "So, because I had cash." Shout out to the Pokies um, <laughs> from Steak Night, which I'll get into. But um, yeah, it was fucking sick. So I. He like came around, he's like, oh, you have to like give it to me. So he's like run around the desk and come around and like put his hips up. I was like, there you go, bro. Just put it <laughs> in his little pocket. It was so funny. That's but, sick. Um, yeah, fucking wind back the night before we started our steak night. Yeah. First Thursday when of every was, month. Okay. I didn't, I missed the initial chat for that. I think it was when I was down mm. the coast or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then all I saw was on like Tuesday, I was like, where are we going for steak? And I was like, what are we talking about? Because yeah, so last time we talked about steaks and stuff, it was not actually No, it definitely steaks. wasn't steaks. It was Shout RJ's. Eden Richards. <laughs> if, if you know, you know. Um, yeah. So, um, we I've just absolutely called him out there. Oh well. But that's all right. Fuck it. He doesn't listen. <laughs> and only a limited no number really of people him. will be able to get that go back that far. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Um anyway, so yeah, it's gonna be the first Thursday of every month, just okay. at a random place. So we did the Everton Park Hotel. It was um pretty good. Not bad. It was just good company. Yeah. I think it's good to just catch up with well, I see those boys quite regularly, but I hadn't seen them for a while. So it was myself, uh, Charlie, James, Smith, Smart. Yep. Um, so funny you said James. Like, yeah, who, same. Who, I was like, who, who was the fuck's that? that? Yeah. Um, Buck and Rory. So yeah, it was nice. a good good group of boys. Had a good time. Um, so I'm pretty keen for the next one. Yeah. I think we've got a little hack that we'll be uh, exploiting. Like a price hack? or Yeah. 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 Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Keen to hear all that. Shout out to Half Price. Yeah. Stuff. It's going to be uh, great. A certain at certain retail pub venue, joints. Yeah. yeah. Not the CACO though, but no, that's shit, okay man. because I'm willing to pay full price at the CACO to yeah. support our friends. That's it. Um, but yeah, so that was really good. Uh, Saturday, uh, fuck, it was just hot as dick, dude. Yeah. It was so hot, but got Caitlin a presence, did all that sort of shit. Um, had a bit of a picnic that afternoon, but Lovely. it was raining, so the picnic yeah. was um, inside. inside. Went to the Newey with Strangsy to watch the second half of the Scorchers, and that got fucking out of hand real quickly because that bloke's just cooked. Yep. So we had a good time together. And then Sunday, um, I was feeling really good. Woke up, went to the toilet, and it was just 
a heat trap. So I started feeling <laughs> so shit. Got to the markets, had an ice long black, thanks to Honey Badger Coffee. Not an ad, but it is. And um, I felt so good. Yeah. So I was I was a lot better after that. Did another nice. Champside trip for the, uh, what was that, third, fourth? Fourth time in four weeks, I reckon we've been Love to Champside journeys. now. It's been fucking Jeez, the air great. there's good. Yeah, except for, oh, I saw oh, your dude, sister. Broke. Yeah, I saw your sister. Yeah. She said, she's like, fuck, yesterday it was so hot. And I was like, thank fuck, I'm going fuck. to work. It'd be the last place I yeah. want to be. So it was terrible. Just Westfield, a Westfield shopping centre with broken air going on a very Not hot good. Queensland day. Not good fuck at all. That. So big announcement time, Klutzy. Yeah, it is. It's a huge announcement. It's probably the biggest announcement of the year so far. Oh, by a long shot, I'd say. Uh, we have got some merch dropping. Fucking oh, if you've asked for it, we're delivering for once. You might have seen we've uh, been teasing some merch for quite some, well, not quite some time, but mm. here and there. So we're going to have four T-shirts dropping next Wednesday, the 15th. Yep. Um, you can sign up. There's a link in our bio. We've we'll been posting all the time as well. Sign up at bloodybrilliantbeers.shop to get all the latest updates to make sure you don't miss out. We've uh, commissioned an artist to do a drawing. Mm, and it's, and fucking it's actually sick. fucking sick. Yeah. So, so good. We sort of figured what we do is um, we're going to do this particular shirt once a year. Yep. And it's a wrap up of all the big things that happened in the podcast for the year. And just because real estate agents are the best at it in the business, we've got combined six years experience in podcasting, which apparently is a big thing to have yeah. combined experience in the real estate so industry. We, yeah, we've so been shout going out to them. We've been going for three years now. So that's six years combined experience. So the six year combined experience shirt will be on sale 15th of Feb, 2023. Never again. Yep. Next year, we'll have the eight year combined experience that's shirt. It, so it. on and so forth. So it's a shirt of the year. Talking through the design class. Righto. So in the top left corner, we have an alien coming down that is taking up a octopus from the ocean. Because we don't know enough about it. we don't it. know enough it's about terrifying. it. terrifying. And if aliens, if we don't know enough, aliens probably want to know what's yep. happening. There's Klutzy's rig riding on Klutzy's rig with the ordinary rig trophy with a beer in hand. Darcy's has pissed the sheets. We've got a hole in one because we won the golf. We've got the BBB. We've got a free phone. And we've got a bit of mayo next to the bed because we all love the mayo man. So that's what we got there. These are some of the biggest things in the pod this year. If you guys want to start, if you've been long-time listeners, short-time listeners, if you're going to stick around for a while, even if you're not, just fucking get in there We'd and grab one. We love your support. One. We really appreciate the support. We've got black, white, uh, like cream. a cream Yeah I was going to say tan But that's not right yeah. It's a cream And, and navy. navy Yeah yep. So four colours And we're doing it a little bit Differently this time So it's going to be a pre-sale So no one's going to miss out um, That means there's no like Set number yep. Of shirts yep. But it's only going to be open For a certain amount of time And then we're going to stop Print pack and send them So it's going to take A little bit longer You should have your shirt Between two and three weeks After the day you order yep. um, But yeah We just want to this shirt's only going to happen once, so we w- yep. want to make sure that everyone that can get one can get one. Um, so instead of printing them all before and selling out, we're going to do a pre-sale so no one misses out. But It's almost like a membership to the Frothies for, for the this year. year absolutely. Yep. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out a week from today, Wednesday the 15th. We'll be posting heaps about it, so keep an eye on our Instagram, Facebook and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, if you want to support, we'd really appreciate it. Full shirts coming. There's also Stubby Coolers coming. They're, fucking came for the stuff. We don't have samples of them, but they're plain black. One side has our logo, the BBB logo, and then the other side says, where the fuck did you get this? Uh, so you can <laughs> hand it out to your mates, and then when they hand it out to their mates yeah. and they say, where the fuck did you get this? They'll be like, I have no idea. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for the support this far, and if you want to jump on these shirts, stay tuned. Wednesday night. Thank you. Bloodybrewingbeers.shop. Sign up. Please. Please. Yeah, one thing that did happen to me on the weekend... Um, I want to bring up I had to go to a post office Yeah Got a bunch of Melbourne stuff. One of the most here. annoying places on earth to go Bro Fuck yeah And Brookside post office is so busy But I've got to give credit to post offices for this Now I'm waiting in line And There's this narrow aisle With just shelves either side And for an impulsive person I had to oh, try geez. so yeah. fucking hard Not to big pick trouble. stuff up Yeah now I've got a I've got the names of a couple of things here. So what I really liked about it was it was like as seen on TV. <laughs> so it's TV advert ones. Yeah. Um there was the flexi torch. It was simply a torch <laughs> with a flexible top. Why would you need that? 
Oh, well, dude. Peer around corners. Peer around corners. Um, <laughs> looking down a drain. I genuinely can't think of one reason you need it. I reckon looking down a drain. But how do you look, if it's bent, how do you look where the well, light's Well, because shining? it's still like, so I, I suppose like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> you just stumped me. But I just thought it was really cool. You can't bend your eyesight. Um, yeah, so what, what's another one? Mighty Sight. I might Google a couple of these. <laughs> But dude, this thing was like glasses and it looks so fucking scat. Um, I can't believe they do TV advertising for this. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The Mighty Sight glasses, uh, magnifying eyewear with LED lights that make everything 160% bigger. So it's like a cheap version of glasses. It's probably going to fuck your eyes. Yeah, and they've got um, built-in lights. Yeah. Maybe they'll help you see real corners. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucked. The um, secret to great the vision. High-quality optical quality lenses that utilise innovative magnification High quality technology. High-quality optical quality. <laughs> yeah. Let's you see as sharp as an eagle. <laughs> While two belt built-in LEDs give you maximum illumination. <laughs> so can you imagine... It's like dark at night and you're trying to go to the toilet and your eyes are just adjusting, but you put the mighty side on. Yeah, but if you're trying to go to the toilet, wouldn't you piss all over the floor? Because it would be 160% closer than you thought. Well, no, what I'm thinking is well, possibly, but it'd also be like a confidence booster because if it's yeah. 160% bigger, you go, oh, I kind of yeah, like the way yeah, this yeah, looks. And then you never take them off. Caitlin, put these on. Yeah, fuck <laughs> Please. <laughs> Um, so there was that. They also have a, uh, one called the Once Touch Chopper. Oh God! Which I thought looked interesting. There was one about. Um, oh, dude, I think I've seen these. Oh look, I was post. Yeah, it did look pretty sick. Um, I used to watch this advert actually, but it's got here the One Touch Chopper is the revolutionary mini food processor that takes the chore out of chopping with just a push of a button. Yeah, I think I've seen one of them. Sort of like a really? coffee grinder, but for yeah, veggies for, for and shit. Food. Cordlessly touch to chop for a flavour that won't stop. Add tomatoes, onions, coriander for homemade salsa. It'd be great for onions. You wouldn't have to cry. Yeah, it would wouldn't be, get the tears. Would be in awesome. Eyes. And I think it'd be great for salsa. Yeah. Look, it isn't the low, low price. This isn't an ad of forty nine ninety nine. That is quite cheaper. Good. Yeah, I would have thought too, but I don't know. Anyway. See, impulsive person. Yeah. Fuck, I was close to buying yeah. it. There was another one though that was really fucking scat. Um, the yummy canned bacon. Oh, what at the post office? Yeah, but it was about cooking bacon. Um, what as seen on TV? Oh, like you cook it in the can or something? I'm I'm not too sure. That's why we're going to find out. But it's only for 19.99 plus uh, 7.99 postage. <laughs> Splatterproof design delivers mess free bacon every time. Microwave safe dome creates heat convection. Vertical oh my god! So you put the bacon put, separate. Oh my god! You put microwave in it and then you put bacon in it and then microwave it. Bro, it's a rack. That's fucked. That is fucked. I don't know about cooking oh, bacon. Oh, no, the no, no. Dude. Simply place your bacon strips on the specially designed vertical rack, pop it in the microwave, and in just minutes, you'll be enjoying yummy, crispy bacon. Dude, that, that ge- All that grease just pours right out. No messy cleanup. That genuinely sounds harder than frying it in a pan. Well, yeah, exactly. And like, I don't know, but crispy bacon, man, like, this is definitely an American product. Yeah. But like, Time and a place for crispy bacon. Yeah, exactly. Don't um, always want it. We don't really have it over here. Yeah, like not like they do. Yeah, exactly. It's like I prefer it's getting like a snappable big, over there. Mm, yeah. And it's so skinny as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't like stuff. that stuff. I don't um, mind it, but it's time and a place for it. But the last one was the Pure Perfection Body Brush. Yeah, right. And that just sounded like, I don't know, Valentine's Day. That could yeah. be something fucking lovely coming up. But um, it's got four changeable multifunction heads that each offer a different kind of skin treatment. Is that not so amazing? So bizarre that these are in the post office. Bro, that's what that's I was thinking. Four very random four products. Four very, very, very I still am trying products. to think of a... I'm stuck on trying to think of a purpose for a bendy torch, really. I can't see why that would be helpful. Let's just... What's the purpose <laughs> of a flexi torch? Of a flexi torch. I can't think... Because you can't see... If it's bending, you won't be able to see where it's, where it's pointing. Okay, let's see if they can fucking... Sell it to us. It. Yeah. All Shut these websites look off. so dodgy. Yeah. As well. Oh, dude, you're getting for 34 bucks instead yeah. of 64 at the moment. Um, flexible neck at a 210 degree angle. Strong pickup power up to 2.3 kilos. So, what? What are you picking up with the torch? I don't get it. What do you mean yeah, strong pickup power? I think it's saying that you can. Is that pick how much it weighs? It. Yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, well, they don't really have a description on what it's for. Yeah, so miss me. Miss me, miss me, miss me. So it sounds like you did very well not to buy any of that stuff, mate. Yeah, no, I was very proud of myself to not actually buy anything. Well done. Um, so that was good, but I have been doing a lot of other impulsive purchases. So, mm. yeah. That's all right. That's, Leveling that's it out. Yeah, exactly. you gotta you got to take the wins and then know when to not even play the don't game. Don't take – exactly. Just yeah. just leave me out of this round. Exactly, exactly. But um, how was your weekend, mate? Good, mate. Um, just like blew myself up two nights in a row. Oh, true. Dolphins team launch on Friday, which was good. But yeah. um, didn't get home till like midnight and then was pretty dusty on Saturday morning and went to laneway. Yeah, uh, which was awesome. But how, how was the backing oh, up for Laneway? It was fine. Not too um, bad. We we're running very late for pre's. Not my fault. I was well and truly on time, just waiting for someone yeah. else. I'll run you through it after, but like an hour and a half late. So I pl- didn't have my first drink till probably half past twelve, quarter yeah, to one. Right. Um, is this other person someone who is notorious for being late? Potentially, I'm yeah, not okay. too sure. No, yeah. no, no. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was great. It was nice to... I, we used to go to festivals all the time, haven't been to one in ages. It was nice mm. to just go to a music festival, see some live music, blow myself up with yeah. drinks. Also, just didn't worry about like... I spent a fair bit of money, but it was nice. Just like, you know what? I'm just going to do that today. Yeah, just drank yeah. seltz, cans of seltzer all day. Had a feed there, like stopped and nice. sat down and had dinner, which is fucking good. Just um, enjoyed yourself. Exactly. Basically. Met a few frothies there, which is good. Um, Fuck yeah. I could barely see straight, see past my nose, yeah. but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was fucking awesome. So <laughs> bring on more festivals. How was Fred again? So good, dude. Did Fuck. you cry? Yeah. yeah a number good, of times. Good. Yeah. Awesome. A number of times. Fuck yeah. I think even before he started, Yeah. like in the lead up. I'm pretty sure you texted me on Saturday morning saying that you were listening to him in the car. And you were shedding a tear. Yeah, exactly. It happens all the time. It's sick. Yeah. It's great. But I don't even need to be drinking for that to happen. So, no, so live and with 50 fucking seltzers under my belt. It would have been fucking so good. Jeez, I was so tempted to be the shittest boyfriend and fucking buy that spare ticket of yours. But um, it was sweaty. I definitely would not have lived it down. That's so right. Glad I didn't do that. But um, no, it sounds like a pretty good weekend you had there, mate. It was good, mate. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up from last week. Yep. Someone raised a good topic. You know, we were talking about, uh, I think it might have actually been on the Monday pod. Mm. Um, last Monday pod. Mm. Cornflakes. Yeah. How they're invented. Yeah. Or why they're invented. Yeah. Might have been this Monday. Who knows? I yep. can't remember. Uh, essentially to stop masturbation. If you don't know, go back and listen. Yep. Um, it was a conversation about wheat bix that spiraled into, I don't know what you'd describe it as. Debauchery. Debauchery. Yeah. yeah. Great call. But someone raised a very good point. You know, if you saw someone these days order, or not order, but have cornflakes for breakfast, you'd expect them to have some sort of topping on top of it, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. I'd say, what, honey, honey sugar, banana, fruit, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. All of those combined even. Yep. Um, it also made me think about the introduction of like the Frosties, which are essentially cornflakes, but loaded with fucking icing yeah. sugar. Um, there's all different varieties, I feel like, with nuts and fruit and shit in them. Um, so they were brought in to be anti-masturbatory cereal yeah because they were so boring but how long do you reckon it took before civilization was just like you know what this is boring as fuck and i want to have a maz load this thing up with fucking honey yeah look i'm i'm just trying to do a little bit of research here because i'm I'm assuming cocoa pops would have been not long after yeah 1958 was when cocoa pops were around um i was actually gonna have a look to see who the um horniest person around the time was because maybe they were responsible <laughs> for, for introducing coca pops yeah maybe maybe um 1894 yeah look well i suppose <laughs> if you've had say 64 years of just plain cereal well, you need to and you know Spice the 50s maybe maybe there's a correlation between um because 60s is meant to be a bit of a wild time wasn't yeah, it? yeah i think so 60s yeah, and well, 70s two years beforehand people start having Cocoa, Cocoa pops. pops And then they build up This tolerance To Not having Anti-horny thoughts Yeah So now they just haven't Horny Horny thoughts Horny horny thoughts Yeah Like <laughs> Because you know They've been suppressed For so long Exactly So once you release The valve After being suppressed For so long Oh exactly Fucking oath And then you've got like I'm gonna say Young people maybe Branching out a little bit They've moved away from home They've yep. been living in this Sort of suppressed Under a home, rock Eating cornflakes you know, Mum and dad might share the same bed. They might not. They might hold hands. There's a high chance they don't. These people are like, all right, there's a common denominator here. Cornflakes. Cornflakes. Give me some Cocoa Pops. Give me some or fucking Cocoa Pops. Honey. 
Or put some honey Sugar. on top. Yeah. Sweeten the deal a little yeah. bit. Oh, it's it just, I don't know. I'm ready to explore and explode. <laughs> <laughs> it blows my mind that people <laughs> could like live with that. You know what, what I mean? Corn well, flakes. just playing cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> and the repercussions And not popping loads. Yeah. Cause yeah, well, maybe as you said last week, it was like, how do you sell that? Like, maybe no one was buying it. And they're like, we got to spice things yeah, up. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think yeah. As, as I was saying there, like you know, I'm going to assume based off that research that sugar started coming in around 1955. Yep. All right. So they wanted to spice it up a little bit. And Sales were down. Basically, there is a correlation between the 60s being so wild and sugar being added to cereal. Yep. Because don't fact checkers. just went crazy. As we've said, don't fact check us, please. No. <laughs> if you're here for statistics and shit, <laughs> fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> One final thing to talk about there was we obviously, uh, we spoke about it last week, Klutzy's rig. Mm. He's currently having a spell, got a bit of shin soreness, but about mm. six weeks, you reckon he'll be back. <clears throat> so shout out to the Calibre Racing Group. We're a big fan <laughs> to them. And uh, thank you for making it possible. And keep an eye out, there's exciting stuff coming. But all after saying all that, do they have something to answer to? Because if you've been following the podcast along for a while, mm. you'd know that our boy Klutzy, Klutzy's rig, mm. just like his namesake, was rather a bit of a horn dog. Yeah. Couldn't concentrate and really get into his work. So yeah. they, they decided or suggested that we get him gelded and they cut did. his nuts off, which they, we did. Yeah. Was the solution to let our poor boy keep his nuts and just up the cornflakes intake? Tell you what, I think the training fees would have gone up because that cut would need a lot of fucking <laughs> corn flakes. <laughs> I reckon he'd need at least five boxes a morning. <laughs> it's a good point. And then maybe the raw one, materials. Maybe, maybe like two to get him to bed. <laughs> so that's seven a day. <laughs> yeah. What's that, 49 a, little, a week? Like, a little bump like halfway through the day to just, you know what I mean? Like yeah. settle him down in the morning and get yeah. him to bed. But midday, he's probably raring to go as well. Maybe we actually like blended up corn flakes or something. This, I don't know, definitely didn't happen. <laughs> But imagine if they like blended up cornflakes in some sort of mixture and he just like, instead of getting out the fucking tranquilizer gun, it's the fucking cornflakes anti horn. <laughs> Every morning. Every morning. Sh- 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 Calm him down, it. yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now it's like, oh my God, people, uh, your ho- your horse is being juiced. It's like, no, <laughs> no. it is not getting rid of its no, juice. No, just have a, look at this. <laughs> have a look at the size of his testicles. Yeah. That man is swelling. <laughs> if you've got to give him a quick tickle, don't. If you're from Tasmania, play on. <laughs> Oh, I can imagine you like after a night out, like losing your shit in the corner. He needs some cornflakes. <laughs> the man's swelling. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it'd be so Bucking fun. like a bronco. Yeah. Shout out to Brisbane. <laughs> um, Shout out to Klutzy's rig. <laughs> Rightio, Klutzy, another week of Crafty of the Week. Yes, it is. God, that, I didn't word that very well, did I? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. But something got was worded well was the description on this beer for what it is holy fuck that's my first first sip of one in so long it is genuinely so good awesome the guys down at revel you might remember them yeah maybe they uh did this beer called the mango mac and it sort of got us in love with sours yeah big time um this popped off in our original beer review group as well when we first got it like everyone wanted to get it it's fucking sick uh i think the biggest thing Probably why this one tastes so good is the crop of mangoes that have been around last, uh, like when they were brewing this, were fucking like Delicious. some of the best mangoes going yeah. around. So essentially, we've got here nothing beats a refreshing ice cream treat on a balmy Queensland afternoon. This beer is a kettle sour based on a summer classic, the Mango Weiss Bar, and has been loaded with fresh mango, macadamia, and coconut to recreate an Aussie classic. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just mango and coconut. The coconut is fucking, is fucking delightful, right there, bro. Hey. It's so good. Mm. This is like this is definitely the second best sour Revels ever made. Uh, only pipped by the yep. strawberries and cream sour, obviously. That's it. For obvious reasons, we legally must say that. Yep. <laughs> but you have to try this if you can get your hands on this it's it's up there with a the strawberry rhubarb for me yeah. from Bruja. it's 100%. so fucking good it is honestly in this weather as well with oh. how fucking hot it is this is so good to have you know what's nice about it what? only three and a half percent i was gonna say it's a midi three and a half percent um I like that when you taste it initially, like you get the mango straight away, but the coconut sort of lingers afterwards, yeah. which I think is um, delightful. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the best sours on the market. Yeah. Uh, it's why we did a sour with Revel. 
And it's why you guys should go and drink it. Yeah, we're appreciating seeing all the people getting around Crafty of the Week. If you're out there and trying it, um, let us know. Even if you're not trying the actual Crafty of the Week, mm. next time you go to get a case of bloke, just grab a four pack or a mixed four pack of. Yeah. Try it, get out of your comfort zone. That's it. That's what it's all about. There's so That's many it. good beers out there. We've had a few people tag us with uh, last week's Crafty yeah, of the, the Captain Week. Sensible. The Captain Sensible. Great so. beer. Get around this one, guys. Yep. Really appreciate this it. Is, if you're going to drink one Crafty of the Week for the year, this is a big call in like week four or whatever it is. Yeah. This one. Yeah. This is the one. Honey Pete. <laughs> Get around it. Got a couple of things here um, just before I wrap up. Okay. Now, high rubbish collection, curbside cleanups going on in Brisbane at the moment. And it's finally hit my suburb. Yep. We put some shit out yesterday. I reckon within a minute, gone. People rocked up. Really? But they didn't take it. Yeah, right. Now, what'd you put out? There's some rugs, corn flakes. Um, <laughs> corn flakes. <laughs> there was uh, the only thing that went actually was I think living with live um, decided to live without car cleaning <laughs> products. <laughs> so um, she put some car cleaning products out. Yep. And these dudes, how can she live without that? I don't know, living with Liv has been living for a while and she seems to be living pretty well. So, <laughs> shout um, out Liv. Shout out to Liv. But, dude, it was pretty fucked. These dudes rocked up in a ute and they've come screaming around the corner and up the road and then it just hit this... <laughs> stopped, reversed back and they're just like... Because they drove past your pile. Yeah, hectically. Shit. Because we had a very big pile yeah. and it still is a very big pile. Um but yeah, they pulled up. And that was the only thing they took. But they had like a kayak tied on the back. Yeah, they right. had table chairs. So they were like out looking for shit. Yeah, out Heck looking for proper yeah. shit. And then someone else pulled up with the trailer after they left. Another person pulled up with the trailer, like basically straight after that. But we were in the garage and they were like staring at us. We were like locked eyes with them. And they were just real weird about it. And then didn't really take anything. And... Liv was like, this is really depressing. Like, our rubbish is that it's shit. That they don't want it. That no other people want it. So It's funny you say that. I was actually at my girlfriend's parents' house yesterday and one of their friends was over for a beer in the Arvo. Mm. And we somehow were talking about curbside collection, probably as well because it's going on in Brisbane, as you say. But mm. uh, this bloke, John, said, you, he's like, you can find some really good stuff out there. He's like, I was walking one day and I walked past this golf bag for my golf clubs. Like, it was just about brand new. It looked like it had never been used. Mm. It was missing the cover on the top, though, for all the clubs. I was like, oh, fuck, what a steal. He's like, yeah, I just went and knocked on the door and asked the bloke. He had the cover in the garage and didn't even know about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I want your golf bag. Do you have the cover? And the guy's like, yeah, sure, gave it to him. Fuck, that's unreal. What a, what a, I was going to say, what a bargain. Not a bargain. It's a steal. It's a steal, <laughs> mate. It's ridiculous. Well, it's not a steal, really, is I it? I just think it's ridiculous. Like, the amount of good shit. I'm seriously considering going back along um, yeah. a road near Do my they, house. They reckon going to, like, Ascot and shit, like all the nice yeah. events is fucking unbelievable. It is yeah. fucked. Because people can't be fucked. Dealing with selling, they'd rather just especially toss for it. something that's like fifty to hundred bucks. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yep. not everyone can be fucked to send yeah, fifteen thousand exactly. messages. It's like when you're earning fucking two yeah. million dollars a year, yeah. you can't be fucked making an extra hundred bucks. Yeah, exactly. Like, you just cannot be fucked. Yeah. which is ridiculous. This marketplace is a punish. But what I was going to ask, we sort of have covered it a little bit. But like, how do you determine what is good rubbish? Yeah, I nearly took a like massive Broncos bright red. Mm. Uh, Origin Energy sports bag yeah. From one of my, my neighbours But it was had been sitting in the fucking pouring rain Yeah, I reckon that plays into it Like depending on the weather Like you know what I mean yeah, If it's been raining in your suburb definitely. for fucking so long then. Yeah. It's like Zav wanted to grab It was a barbecue across the road And he yeah. wanted to grab it And I was like Bruh Your brother's got one You also got another newish one And I've got, got one, one that I still have to set up Yeah So um, We don't need another barbecue Yeah Plus, you don't fucking cook. Yeah. <laughs> which, is, can't cook which is another can't cook big muscle thing. chefs on the Barbie, bro. No, you can't. You can't cook Guzman White Gomez on oh, the Barbie. Either. I would hammer some this evening. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm, I'm already considering like what I'm going to get as mm. takeaway. On the way home, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I don't know, dude. There's too many options. I didn't have any uh, takeaway today. I'm well, trying and to... it's I'm, Monday. Yeah, well, I... Yeah, I have no excuse, really. I'm, I, I was going to start a health kick today. I've still had mm. heaps of shit to eat. Just yep. didn't buy anything. I think I might start tomorrow. Now, speaking of health kicks, okay. I said to Darcy I had a little show and tell thing I wanted to bring yep. in. Um, this came out of work today. So, first off, i got two different types of this thing. So, a little bucket here. Is this a shit idea that could make millions? This is a shit idea that could make millions and it's a health kick. Yeah, right. All right. 
Hopefully we're not shitting to in a some people. Or is this potentially good rubbish? <laughs> this is just a rock. <laughs> to other people, it's a million dollar idea. It's a dumbbell. It, no, I'll get into it more. I also have more forms of this. A bucket now, with smaller rocks. Gonna, I, I, I don't know if you can. Dirt. I, I brought <laughs> dirt all over the pub. Yeah, no, that's why I brought up a dustpan and brush. <laughs> So in my hands here, I have purple clay. Now, when we were digging today, the operator got really excited. And I was like, what the fuck are you on about, Dan? He goes, bruh, this shit could legit make millions. I was like, okay, talk to me. Apparently, there's a lot of health benefits to purple clay. <laughs> right. Like? Um, I'm going to get them up for you. <laughs> Did but, you Google it? <laughs> fuck yeah, because I already have a product idea. <laughs> I love it. Um, and I've got shit loads of purple I was going to say, is there much purple clay on the side or what? Yeah, fucking oath, dude. Um, let's have a look. Purple clay benefits. Oh, here we go. So there's a, there's a lot of different ones. Um, purple clay benefits are mostly anti-aging. Magnesium. So it's got a lot of magnesium. Yeah. Um, helps ensure healthy skin cells, which can make you look younger. Purple Brazilian clay can also help prevent your skin from absorbing. Now, the key thing there is this isn't Brazilian clay, but... <laughs> It's Red Bank clay. Let me see if I can find my previous search history of this this morning. Because, <laughs> man, I went right in depth. Any danger of you just well. saving it on the podcast? You have to sit here in silence while you try and find it. Oh, here we go. It's purple clay, good for skin. <laughs> Sorry, look, I did have it saved, but then I got into the Kellogg's, Kellogg's. thing. Um, so here we go. With a low concentration of mineral salt, purple clay is the perfect ally for dry and fragile skin. The benefits of this, it detoxifies the skin, restores softness to the skin. So, obviously, we've been having chats about being horny, correct? Correct. I think if we all start rubbing in a bit of purple clay into our hands and maybe into the nether regions, yeah. we could have the penis cream. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Well, because then you've got a nice soft hand for a nice soft cock. <laughs> and imagine how fucking good that would be. Do you really want a soft cock, though? Well, in this I, case, you do. You do, yeah, It's hard, but it feels soft. Yeah, that's it. So, I don't know. I just think there's some health benefits there. Have you, you looked have at, like, um, like trans- transforming your pepper clay into pen cream or? No, no, no not that, yet. This okay, is literally this just, is just proof of concept. It happened this morning. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. you know what I mean? Like, so this is this is a groundbreaking idea. We want to put it out there to see if there'd be people interested in BBB penis cream, basically. Yeah, if you want to have soft hands, uh, male or female, to, I don't know, play around with soft hard cloths. but soft things. Yeah. Um, let us know because I could be onto something here. Big time. And as but we said, we've got plenty of purple clay. You got it. a bathtub, don't you? Yeah, I do. Mix it up in there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But yeah, I wanted to get a couple of different forms of it because obviously the clay, like, as you can see here, you can just rub it in your hands like this. and Soft as a baby. It, it feels bum. really good. Yeah. Um, I can already feel the softness on You're my hands. You're selling it to me. Yeah, thank you. My hands are actually quite regenerated with moisture as we speak. Yeah, and for a big, big, strong boy who works out in the on the uh, on the side all day, yeah, exactly. you need that. I fucking need it, dude. I tell you what, I've been been struggling in this heat. I've been, been losing hot. a lot of moisture, so um, I'm really thinking this would be great. So if if you're interested, please reach out. And let yeah, us know. reach out. Let us know. I think we could be onto something. Um, as you heard, there are a lot of benefits. To having purple clay in your life. Yeah. And we'll I've do more research. Shitloads of it. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> shitloads. Shit Don't tell anyone where your side is because they might try and uh, steal yeah, no. some of you. Well, uh, I'm sort of going to give it away with this next thing as okay. well. Have you ever looked at police helicopters and thought, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, have you ever looked at police helicopters and thought, like, what a waste of money? They never use them. No. Nah. <laughs> Dude, I have so many times. I'm like, when the fuck are they going to use a yeah, police okay, helicopter? Yeah. Like, that's so much money. They might use it like. Once yeah, a month okay, or sure. Whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, hardly yeah. ever. I've been at Red Bank Plains working for the last three and a bit weeks now. Yep. And I reckon. Just doing laps? There's been two days where the police helicopter hasn't been released. Really? And we just go, oh, it's up again. Fucking hell. Is that not ridiculous? Two, only two days. Only two days out of 15 or 16 well, days. I wonder that what I've been sort working. of thing they would get it up in the air for. Apparently, there's like a lot of like chases. Like yeah, a, I wouldn't have a lot of like that car either. chases and like yeah. motorbike people. Because that's just, what like, I was thinking. That, that was my first thing. They'd be yeah. tracking people like that, but surely there's not that many of them. But. Well, that's what I thought. But well, if you're only not having it released two days, days out of the, of the working day week, like that's out of the fucked. week, yeah, yeah, that is fucked. ridiculous. But it's um, it's been something I've been amazed about. Pole air. 
Yeah. Reach out, Paul Air. Yeah, please. They do get a fair run on the news, I suppose. Yeah. Paul Air spotted, blah, blah, Mm. blah. But I just never realised how often it was. Imagine how easy that job would be. Yeah. Police officer would be um, in the helicopter. Oh, so you literally, the places that the cars can't keep up and go, you just watch a car and tell them. Yeah. You never have to do the actual arresting, never Mm. in the line of fire. Just follow along from above. Yeah. Tell people what to do. So sick. Yeah. I'd love to be a chopper, man. Choppers are pretty gnarly to be in, though. Yeah. Kind of scary. Yeah. Well, they're not meant to fly. What do you mean? I think, like, isn't that that big thing how it's, like, just mechanically and, like, how they're shaped and everything? A chopper should not be able to get up in the air. No, I think that's a bumblebee. Well, choppers are actually designed off <laughs> bumblebees. I think you're fine. Choppers are designed to fly, mate. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. What are choppers designed for? Are choppers <laughs> not meant to fly. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot um, Here we go Where's like Cora <laughs> um, Helicopters should be forced to fly While the airplanes want to fly Helicopters are inherently unstable And pilots have to work their ass off To try to make it stable If you trim an airplane properly It will maintain the desired speed and altitude As a matter of fact You can fly an airplane literally with your fingertips A helicopter flight however is more complex A simple act of hovering in air Requires you to operate multiple controls Collective pedals and cyclic. So it's just hard. Know. Basically, it's hard to keep it up yeah. there because, like, it's this big fucking hunk of chunk that just yeah. wants to go down, and it's not really like I don't know. An aeroplane can just fucking glide. aerodynamic, I guess. Yeah, aerodynamic. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. These are other things that keep me up at night. <laughs> Fuck, so. you must have restless nights. <laughs> fucking nice. Um, speaking of restless nights, a uh, conversation we we're having in the office. Some of my favorite topics. <laughs> Debates happen in the office and I like to bring them into the public forum. Often to try and prove that my stance on the matter was correct. Correct or not maybe not is. maybe not correct, but like in the majority. Case yep. in point was the um Vegemite on toast, which I was yep. in the majority of the fucking dustman and brushes connected, you idiot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um I'm gonna do this afterwards. Yeah. Gonna fuck it. I wanna know how often you change your bed sheets. Me? You. It's not like, ba- it's not like fuck it. I don't leave it for ages. Yeah, but I probably wash them every two weeks. Yeah. See, I think that's absolutely play on. Yeah. Especially keeping in mind you don't always you stay. At yeah, I stay. At Caitlin's house. a fair amount. Yeah. So I'm probably in my bed maybe three times a week. Four two. There's two people, who, one of them said six months, and another one said they hadn't changed them since about November. So I'm going to say, can I guess names? Uh, Were they yeah. in today? One was Sam Milgram. No, don't be Will Evans. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. Do I know the other person? Yep, Eden. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> grub, bro. And and it's been so hot, and he's lives with his missus. Yep. And you know what the most fucked thing was? What? One of them doesn't have a fan or aircon, and he's like, it's when I have. Some, when I have big nights out, I mm. never shower when I get home. I just jump straight into bed. I'm oh, like, that is fucked, mate. Fuck. You know what his argument was? He's like, "Well, how often do you wash your couch?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Well, you would sit on your couch and be like all sweaty and like, you know, eat food on the couch." I was like, "Yeah, but maybe for like one hour a day, not eight hours every day." And also, you just said you don't sweat when you sleep. So how can you sweat on the couch? Mm. Talk me through that. Also, most of the time you're on the couch, you're in full clothing. Exactly. Dude, I'm pretty... Uh, I'm so rocked by it. Do you know what's fucked? Like, I'm actually not surprised that it's those two. But I am surprised that Eden's missus lets him get away with that. No, I... See, we brought this up on Saturday at Prees, and I think Shannon, Shannon said that she changes it pretty often without him knowing. Oh, okay. But if it was... He said if it was up to him, that's how long he would leave it. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. Disgusting. Well, God, I wonder how often one of our other mates who has to wear underwear... Bed because of his poo particles as his changed <laughs> so often. Okay. True story too. Yeah, probably like every now and <laughs> you'd hope so. Fucking need a lot of sets of sheets. His missus like, oh no, there's some other shit stain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck. yeah, no, I change mine quite regularly because Same. they get fucking. Dirt. And yeah, there's a, like particularly with not an ad but sort of is. Shout out to our mates at the Lag Collective. Yep. When you wash their sheets. There's just something about like they're so when you get fucking into good to yeah. the touch, man. Like I start making fucking bed angels, and yeah. Caitlin's like, "Can you please keep your feet to your side of the bed?" Like, 
No. <laughs> you shouldn't have washed the sheets. Yeah, you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't have let me wash the sheets. <laughs> let me be a smelly boy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Farewell. Thanks for listening. See you next week. Catch you. See you Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow. Oh, oh, we can do it after. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Radio Clutzy, another week of Crafty of the Week. Yes, it is. God, that, I didn't word that very well, did I? <laughs> yeah, that's all, right. that's all right. But something that was worded well was the description on this beer for what it is. Holy fuck. That's, that's my the first, Mac. first sip of one in so long. It is genuinely so good. Awesome. The guys down at Revel. You might remember them. Yeah, maybe. They uh, did this beer called the Mango Mac. And it sort of got us in love with sours. Yeah, big time. Um, this popped off in our original beer review group as yeah. well when we first got it. Like, everyone wanted to get it. It's fucking sick. Uh, I think the biggest thing, probably why this one tastes so good, is the crop of mangoes that have been around last, uh, like when they were brewing this, were fucking like Delicious. some of the best mangoes going yeah. around. So, essentially... We've got here, nothing beats a refreshing ice cream treat on a balmy Queensland afternoon. This beer is a kettle sour based on a summer classic, the Mango Weast Bar, and has been loaded with fresh mango, macadamia, and coconut to recreate an Aussie classic. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just mango and coconut. The coconut fucking is fucking, fucking delightful, right there, bro. Hey. It's so good. Mm. This is like, this is definitely the second best sour Revel's ever made, uh, only pipped by the yep. strawberries and cream sour, obviously. That's it. For obvious reasons, we legally must say that. Yep. <laughs> but you have to try this. If you can get your hands on this it's it's up there with a the strawberry rhubarb for me yeah. from Bruja it's 100%. so fucking good it is honestly in this weather as well with oh. how fucking hot it is this is so good to have you know what's nice about it what? only three and a half percent I was gonna say it's a midi three and a half percent um I like that when you taste it initially like you get the mango straight away but the coconut sort of lingers afterwards yeah. which I think is um delightful fucking awesome yeah yeah it's one of the best sours on the market. Yep. Uh, it's why we did a sour with Revel, and it's why you guys should go and drink it. Yeah, we're appreciating seeing all the people getting around Crafty of the Week. If you're out there and trying it, um, let us know. Even if you're not trying the actual Crafty of the Week, mm. next time you go to get a case of bloke, just grab a four-pack or a mixed four-pack. of. Yep. Try it, get out of your comfort zone. That's it. That's what it's all about. There's so That's many it. good beers out there. We've had a few people tag us with uh, last week's Crafty yeah, of the, the Captain Week. Yeah, the Captain Sensible. Great so. beer. Get around this one, guys. Yep. Really appreciate this it. This is if you're going to drink one crafty of the week for the year. This is a big call in like week four or whatever it is. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this is the one. Honey Pete, <laughs> get around it.